what's up everyone? Nomadic Gaijin here. Today I'm in Fukui Prefecture with my buddy Ralph here, who's gonna show me around. So tell me, Ralph, what's there to see in Fukui? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Come on, there's gotta be more than that at least. Nope, 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 nope. All right, well, we're gonna try to find some amazing places here. Let's go check it out. Some of you might remember Ralph from the $15,000 house in Japan video I did. He's gonna be showing me around Fukui. Japan has 47 prefectures and Fukui is one of them. Located on the Sea of Japan, a place a lot of people don't visit, but it's amazing. Our first stop was Ryusoga Falls, or so we thought. The ride there was very flat with a lot of farmland on the sides, all the way up until we got into the mountains, but there was a snag. The science says we can't go here, so we're gonna try to do it on foot. Oh, we found it. We found the waterfall. This is amazing. It does look kind of cool. <laughs> Ralph was like, we could drive this. <laughs> Let's get as far as we can. <laughs> We're walking on the edge of the cliff and it's so slippery. Um, yeah, I don't think you're gonna make it. <laughs> it gets bad. It gets pretty bad. Our first destination in Fukui, access denied. Our next stop was Ono Castle, which was really high above the city, almost like it's sitting on a giant turtle. Because there's also a shrine at the foot of this castle. Uh, Ralph said earlier they put this over the trees to prevent the snow from crushing it, crushing them, which and I guess it's the same for the lanterns. We'll, we'll go from this gate here straight to the top. It's really, there's a couple gates on the way. Originally built in the 1500s, this version was made in the 60s based off drawings and artwork. This is Ono Castle. I really can never get bored looking at castles in Japan, but the real beauty lies in the sights you can see from up here. The cityscape all the way out to the mountains, how clear and how beautiful the mountains are from here. It's just a gorgeous sight. It's not a necessarily most famous on the tourist destination maps, but if you lived here in this cool city, you get a nice view every day and they light it up too. So I'd say this is a, a worthwhile place to visit. Oh. There's two types of stairs, regular and uh, old man stairs, and Ralph's decided to take the old people stairs. <laughs> Safer. Yeah, I'll take these ones and I'll fall, and then you'll be laughing, I'm sure. You all right, Luke? <laughs> yeah, but come on, like, where's the sleigh? Where's anything else? It's like, it's like, it's like, <laughs> all right, JSP, get up the mountain, get on the do, some do some pull ups. Yeah, I guess you get all the leg workout from going up all these stairs. Our next stop was Heisenji Hakusan Shrine, a beautiful moss-covered area known as a local power spot. So this is sort of a mossy village. Mossy town. Oh, dude, gotta go in here. It's also someone's house, right? <laughs> mossy town. Wow. This is very mossy. I like it. It's like a little tea shop. Oh, they're open. I love the, the classic post boxes and... I've seen those sold at home centers. Really? Like the full size? Yeah. Wow. I don't know, I don't know why someone would buy it, but... Hundreds of years ago, at the peak of its existence, there were more than 70 shrines and temples. A safe haven, a religious city, a beautiful place to be. Much of it's been destroyed or reclaimed by nature, but it's still an amazing spot. Oh, there's, oh this is a... Yeah. I'm gonna check this out real quick, if you don't mind. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's all right. Just give me a second. Ooh. Okay, made it. Wow, completely. S I can't believe there's this much snow. The 
bell's loose, I can ring it. That's rare. Yeah, some places, like, they have signs. It's totally fine. Like, kids do it and stuff. But right now, because of Corona, they've blocked a lot of them off. This is deep fall if I go all the way through. Run in the snow! Whoa! <laughs> oh, man! This is dangerous! Why aren't you helping me? <laughs> My socks are soaked, but whatever. I can... Get some yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Holy crap, it goes kind of far. <laughs> nice. Well, this is another shrine. Everything's snowed in. This one, at least the floor is safe. <laughs> so they're just money sitting out. So this is something I really love about Japan is the trusting nature they have here. There's about $15 worth of yen here, like 100 yen just sitting here. And people put that and they take a, a protective amulet, the omomori, right? So I'm going to do the same thing right now. I'm going to leave my, my money, you leave it here for this one. I'm not sure which one's which, so I'm just going to leave 500 and I'm going to take one of these. There you go. But that's it. So someone can come and take it if they want, but I think that'd be kind of sad. This is a beautiful walkway. Love it. Yeah. yeah. Look how big the trees are. They are huge. Yeah, they are. This is an old area. I hear a stream. As long as we don't see any bears, this is pretty cool. I'm sure there's no bears. Like, bear sightings here are actually, it's newsworthy too. So it was getting real dangerous. Yeah, I think it could snow. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Oh yeah, you can drink here. I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. But they've got. They've got cups and a little like. Ladle kind of thing, I guess. So you could actually, if you want to, you could take water from this and drink it. Do it, Luke. Do it. <laughs> a security camera here. Where? Where? In one of the trees? Yeah. What? Hey, maybe you can watch bears too. Ah, uh, yeah, bear vision. I don't know about that little pond though. <laughs> I thought that was a rope, like you can swing in it. Something, right? like a tiger. Yo, look at the size of this tree trunk. Oh man, something probably lives in that thing. I'm almost certain. A bear. <laughs> I don't know about a bear, like a raccoon maybe? <laughs> yeah, Tanuki. This was a side quest, right? We didn't, this wasn't the main road. You want to see what's up here? Oh, that, I mean, that goes back up to me, right? Oh, you're right. Oh, it is old. Wow. Whatever was written there before is pretty much, yeah, it's pretty much gone. Weather-worn. Even these lanterns. There's a candle inside, actually. How about that? You, you, you rarely see that, actually. You rarely see them with actual candles inside. I guess they do light it up at night. Look at this. This is just so old. There's a really nice energy here. Do you feel yeah, that? It does. There's something very calming and very peaceful here. I'm gonna walk up this path first because it looks the most dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Should have brought some hiking shoes. Hey Ralph, that would have been a good idea. No, this is perfect with what I'm wearing. I got that mountain. Yeah. When Ralph brought me here, I had no idea this was a power spot. But it hit me just about here. I started to feel really relaxed, really calm, just looking around. And I've never felt this feeling in my life. I can never really describe it, but this is somewhere that I think everyone should have a chance to visit. It's just so peaceful. This doesn't really seem to belong here with all the other really ornate buildings and stuff. 
It's like a little shack. Oh, the shack. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What is the purpose of this? This is just to pr protect the wood from the snow buildup, like, right? Yeah, that or like maybe like animals burrowing into the wood to get in. Yeah, maybe. This is just so beautiful. Thank you for bringing me here. Well, I can imagine when, when, yeah. I'd love to sit here. I, I brought my travel guitar, but it's in my car. I think it's just to protect it from the elements so? for the for winter. Oh, yeah. uh, maybe, yeah. Yeah, I don't see any equipment. These are the steepest of the stairs. Wow. Right after we got up these steps, that's when things were a little bit strange. I had a headache, and I never get headaches. But it wasn't a bad headache. It was like, I'm just being overwhelmed by something I just can't understand. And that's an experience I don't think I'll ever forget. Isn't Shikoku the place that has that, the what, the whatever number of like... 88, yeah. Did you go to any of them? I think, yeah, like one or two, but um, I think I actually thought about in this period that I'm at now, just going down there and doing all 88, <laughs> but I was like, nah. Did <laughs> you want to go all the way up? You know I do. This one looks like less maintained, you know? Yeah. Getting a little more off the regular beaten path, right? Yeah, at least it's not so steep. <laughs> oh, these guys are messed up because it's like, it's yeah. like flat and then it's like, oh. Uh, yeah, I was like that at Kochi too. It's a lot farther than it looked. <laughs> <laughs> All good. It's like, it's like that camera effect, right? Yeah, yeah. A lot of people might easily skip this last shrine because it's so far up. But if you do make it this way, there's a path that takes you to this area with a bunch of headless statues, which was really cool. The history. Yeah. There's definitely some significance to that. Yeah. Which will probably pop up right at the top of the screen here. <laughs> this usually happens. I didn't know at the time of filming and then it pops up on my actual video. <laughs> this one's not. Maybe they're just sur survivors, you know what I mean? Maybe. It's oh, like a well there. down there. They're all headless as well. Huh. Except for the two protecting the main part. It's, yeah, they probably just weathered away or something. No, man, it's too deliberate. Think so? Yeah, there's always meaning, right? Whoa, these are steep. I'm gonna walk on the side. Oh, that's not fun. Nope, more stairs. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna, I should just call this video Stairs to Fukui. Last set of upstairs. It'd be funny we get there and there's like a re really gorgeous golden pavilion at the top of like a hundred more stairs. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, I promised. It's the last nope, one. There's bear fence. <laughs> okay, so see, all right, we made it to the top. That's good. Now you've been all the way to the top. I might have gone. I, I thought it was bigger than before. Oh, I'm sure it is. It's pretty big. It's because it's winter, you know, at the end of winter. There's probably pathways that you can just go hiking. Yeah. Dai Honzan A Heiji. It's a beautiful place that is a joy to explore. To get to A Heiji, you have to go through the flatlands of Fukui once more and back into the mountains just a little bit. 
It's removed from the major cities, but there is a little touristy town around it, which feels kind of cool. Founded nearly 800 years ago, this facility has been a place where monks can train in the art of Zen. Still over 100 monks live, eat, and practice here every day. It's open to the public, and people can even study the ways of the monks here. This is an awe-inspiring and beautiful place. Yeah, we got here kind of at the end. It's been a big day. Yeah, this, look, this is a set of, we're probably like the last people I could be able to enter. You weren't kidding, man. This is beautiful. This is, this is the dorms for the monks. This is where the monks live. Very interesting. It's more of the moss stuff. Wow. Yeah. And when I came with my brother, there's actually a trail that goes all the way to the mountain. I'm just, uh, maybe when we come back, I want to walk. I want to check that out. But wow, I can't believe these are dorms for the the monks that to live in. That's incredible. This place is massive. Yeah, it is. We're not going to be able to see everything today. Yeah, we will. Like, it's, it's, not, it's not like. You know, like you can't go into the dorm area. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. There's, we can't see everything. Yeah. No, it just says don't drink it. Come on, Ralph. I don't know. I saw she was in. Is it cold though? Oh, that's cold. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, I pretend to wash my. I'm gonna wash my other hands. I should have spent all day here. No, this is good. I like it. Yeah, I get distracted easy, so if something like that happens, don't feel bad for winding me. Dude, we gotta get in before they close. We're on TV. All right, so you you gotta get a bag and put your shoes in them, and then you gotta carry your shoes around. I was just saying that the. The size of the trees here is insane. Okay. My feet keep slipping out of these slippers. <laughs> these are, I think you should wear, if you come here, you should wear slippers with, or socks with a grip. Seriously, like every step. Wow, so you can't go here, but that's, that area looks just, Really, really good. Wow. If you go in here, you have to hold your slippers in your hand. Feels like more like a ceremony hall, right? Not, not necessarily like a little hall. I can smell that incense, the uh, that like really sort of temple or shrine smell, right? Wow, where does that go? <laughs> Oh, you know they got to be cleaning these every they single day. Like they, do that thing where they, on their they run, they run with a rag on the floor. Yeah, yeah. that's like classic anime. <laughs> oh. Beautiful. It's really just free and open to go anywhere, huh? Yeah. Except for the places that broke off. Mm. 
and that sign. I wonder what it cost just to have a sign like that made. These are beautiful. This is really nice. What if we get lost and we can't leave? <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time or the last time that happened in one of my videos. So there's a room up here. Yeah, yeah. That's like uh, people who live here or work here, right? Fun fact, it's all popsicle sticks. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? The what? Mm -hmm. Part of the kitchen. Oh, it must be on the sides, right? We can't actually enter. Yeah. I wonder if you can actually so slide. Up until this point, the uh, the signs were all in Japanese. Don't go like you can't go this way. This one has English, so this must be like a big no-no. You know what I mean? Yeah. All the other signs were only in Japanese. So do not go beyond this point. So you can't play the Gaijin card on those stairs. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't read the English or the Japanese, you go up there, you can get a beat down by like 80 monks. Yeah. <laughs> this. Wow. That's pretty cool, huh? Luckily, we haven't climbed any stairs today, so we got lots of energy for this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please don't look that bad. Though. You can see inside there, though. You know, don't, give, don't go beyond this point part. But there must be some reason why they put it in English. Yeah. It looks like it's connected to all these up there. That's why, maybe. Maybe it's the... But they're all like meditation rooms, <laughs> it feels like. Must be something special about that one. Yeah. There's little vents in the stairs. I feel like you can come here and take a different path every time. Peek out here. Looks like they're building more. That's not construction, that's new building. Okay. Can't video those guys, right? Okay, so I gotta make sure not to do that. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah. No problem. Shall we do it? We need it. we need these shoes? No, I think if you just leave your shoes here. Well, I guess you can carry it if you want to hit me on. It's okay. Wow. Did those come on just because we came in? Where, where has this been my whole time in Japan? Construction sounds aren't helping, but... <laughs> wow. Yeah, but see, the, the thing is that like, people don't want to come, you know, like, come out of their way at least to Fukui. You know, like, you can kind of get this like if you go to the or something. This is so much better. Yeah? I think so. I, think so. I like this more than Kyoto. I think so. It's, it's think very so. authentic and it's not geared toward it, it tourists. Plus the, the, the main hitsudan is actually down there, in the middle. Yeah, okay, let's do it. It feels, it feels really like, like a movie or something, right? Yeah, minus the construction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not even paying attention. Yeah, it's really, it, 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 oh, it should be fine, yeah, it should be okay. Enjoy it then. You can't go up there. We came from up there, so we can either go up there and Continue around. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. I'm sure like we can get that thing from up. Right. Oh, 
it looks like it connects. I've never seen that before. Huh. This sort of maze. Yeah. It smells really good. Light it. <laughs> <laughs> She's over here, whatever, the, the guardian's gonna light it already, right? Oh man, he broke once. The sign's quite old. I'm curious to see the toilet. I told you, I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, this is a cool toilet. Look at this. It's got shoji screens at the top. The sinks are kind of weird. You no! <laughs> oh, it's just regular toilets inside. Nothing fancy. <laughs> but it was cool. The shoji screens were a nice touch. All the wood and stuff. Yeah. That's the place we were going to. Every single turn we had a don't go here yeah. sign, so we've only seen the basics. All right, this has potential to be the right spot. take pictures of the monks so I've got a photo I can pop up right here this is beautiful well, we can walk around this area after we leave maybe a little bit this area not this area but oh, okay yeah, we can walk that way. okay well, I don't really know well Oh, the snow buildup. Well, wow, that's... How about I step in there, huh? <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. It's pretty loud, right? <laughs> it's pretty loud, it is. This statue depicts founder Dogen Zenji in his youth when he decided to become a monk. It sits surrounded by snow in an environment that just makes you feel so relaxed and calm. Thank you. 
Go all the way up there. The next day we set our sights on Hokushima Ocean Shrine as we made our way down the coast of Fukui. To get to the coast from Ralph's house, we have to drive through tunnels and mountains, old towns, sometimes run down and completely destroyed houses. But then after a little bit, we finally get to the coast and it's gorgeous. I love the sea of Japan and everything about it. So, as Ralph just informed me, North Korea is that way. <laughs> That's really clean and green. That's great. There's little tide pools here. So we're here on the coast of Fukui, and Fukui is famous for these kind of rock structures you can see all over the place. And the ocean is just gorgeous here. Every time I've been to the Sea of Japan, it's nice, but I really like this color. A little bit, remember, I'm a little bit afraid of heights. So this is a little bit, like, unnerving for you? A little bit. I mean, what? at least it's like rope right or something right here. I get it, I get it, like. Going down, though, is gonna suck. Oh, yeah. As you can see down. Isn't that cool? Ralph brought me to the ghetto. That's hilarious. Did you notice that before? No. This is a neat little beach town. Mm -hmm. What is all this? This looks like a much better food. I'm sure. Oh, this guy right here? <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're like grilling them right there for you. That looks amazing. And crab. I love these kind of shops. I do too. That's, that's why I like they it. just smell it's like, like it's really touristy, but they're fun. You know? Yeah, it just smells like seafood, and you sit at these like plastic covered tables. But I love it. It's the ice cream. Is there you buy the ice cream for the eagles? <laughs> <laughs> this is uh to protect my drone. I think this is a rock store. <laughs> <laughs> There's a hat that just says Fukui on it. Should I get that? That's up to you. It's up to me. Is it though? Is it really up to me? Buy it. <laughs> I don't know if it's up to me. Oh, this is an imitation of Starbucks right here. How is Starbucks Japan not on you for that? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're, at, we're at Starbucks, right? Oh, wait, no, it's not. <laughs> but that's the, it's the, it's the rock for me. See that island right there? We can, we can walk up to that island, that bridge, park there. And Let's walk. do it. If you don't mind. No, no, no. Oh, nope. This is um, suicide post. A lot of people commit suicide here. Yeah. That's... I don't know. I, well, actually, even recently. It's so sad. It's a beautiful place. That's really a shame. Yeah. Eh? You know, we were talking about how, like, look at you. you can walk through and all these rocks. There's no, like, railing on anything, dude. Oh, there's a railing on that stairwell. Oh well, yeah, there. <laughs> but, you know, like, like imagine like kids just playing and stuff. Oh, I see. It looks like a giant dinosaur claw. That's why this is all about dinosaurs. <laughs> I don't know. It's this part. Yeah. If you guys remember, when I did a video, uh, the Noto video, I showed this little island with a bridge to it. Now that was cool. That was in Niigata. Now this is Fukui, and we've got over here a much bigger version of that. And I'm so excited to check it out. Let's go.
I didn't know it at the time, but apparently couples that walk this island in the correct direction will have good fortune, and if they walk it in the wrong direction, will break up, pretty much. So stay tuned to see if Ralph and I do the right direction or the wrong direction, and if our friendship is meant to be. Having crystal clear water all the way down, even this far out in the ocean, reminds me of Okinawa and makes me feel like this might be one of my favorite spots in this entire trip. Just a beautiful sight. I could spend an entire day here. Once again, and Ralph didn't tell me, and I didn't know, but this island is meant to be a power spot. But really, as you look around it and walk around it, you can really tell that there's something special about this place. It's uh, the trust system all over again. All right, Ralph, what do you think about these stairs? <laughs> stairs. <laughs> stairs. Ah! There's so many of them. <laughs> this is at least the fourth video of me walking upstairs looking so tired. <laughs> I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking, no, it's bad. It's bad after everything we've done, man. It's, whew. Come on. Whoa. I almost fell backwards too. Yep. Yeah. Whew. You know, we just came back from suicide cliffs, so I feel a little bit uh, uh, sensitive emotionally here. Okay, we got stairs. What about the other side? Less stairs. Less, less taken care of stairs. Let's go for the stairs. fancy route. I think it looks good. Stairs, stairs, stairs. It is really. I feel like we're in Okinawa. Yeah. It just feels so different. Disneyland. Disneyland? All right. We got different ideas of what Disneyland. Tom's. <laughs> oh man. Okinawa sounds so much cooler. Imagine living on the island. Yeah. I haven't seen any monkey, bear, or snake signs, so I think this would be a cool place to live. A lot of birds. You gonna drink some of this, Ralph? You can. I'll touch that water. <laughs> looking, looking a little mosquito-y for my taste. More lanterns. I wonder if somebody comes to close you. What should have been if you were up at night? I don't know, man. We didn't pay anything to get here. Who's paying that salary? Volunteer? No, nah, this is this is the responsibility of the Kingdo, the neighborhood. <laughs> ah, okay. Maybe they take turns. What an awesome old building. Look at that. Drift in the boat, drift in the boat. <laughs> Ralph, how come half the places you take me feel like we're in Indiana Jones? <laughs> I like it, I like it. No complaints, I just feel like... Well, I'm gonna tell you the truth, one of the reasons why Stanford Creek is really green. It is green. I need this where I'm at. There's, there, we have a lot of green for our area, but it's just not like this. This is great. Oh. This is a nice little like, offshoot from the main path. You know the only part, like, you know, you say, um, you guys come, come back, you know, the both of you next time? It's just so beautiful out here. And I was thinking about sending the drone out and then 
Every time I think about it, two birds just automatically appear. Just two, just two birds. Always the same two birds, I'm pretty sure, no matter where we go. Don't you think, like? Just like the, the ghost really following you. This is a very important sign detailing, I'm not sure what. Need some insoles? Cause, you all right? What? Your feet tired? You got some insoles here. Just one. That was the left foot, if you need. Just the left foot. Someone was like, I've had it, ah! Most of the time when I travel for YouTube, I end up feeling a sense of urgency. Like I gotta go to the next place. But when I was here, time didn't matter. It was like I could spend a week, a month, a year here, and I wouldn't care. It was a really cool feeling. But all good things come to an end, and we had to go. Before heading home, Ralph took me to get some specialty local foods at Maruoka Castle. Just like the, it's like the jogging, the jogging team over here of the ladies. <laughs> My last memory of this trip would be a delicious bowl of soba, fukui sauce flavored katsu, and another identical bowl of soba for some reason. But it was all really good. Then a quick look at the castle garden and the castle itself, and then I was off. Fukui was a place I never ever thought I wanted to visit, but after going there, I just can't wait to go back. What a beautiful place. If you liked this video and you haven't already, definitely subscribe and join me for my adventures throughout Japan. See you guys next time.